playing the right way and doing the right things so that we don't have to try and figure things out those couple days before San Jose. So, you know, for playing the way we're capable, we should be okay. Can you just kind of reflect on this season for you personally, just kind of the roller coaster season that you've been on and just culminating to now being on the playoff team and being on the roster and this late in the season? It's a lot of fun. This was my goal at the beginning of the year to be on this team and, uh, you know, I, I put in the work and I was fortunate enough to get rewarded. So, you know, for me, it's something maybe I'll look back on later and, you know, smile about. But right now, it's about putting in the work. Have a chance to talk to the new guy? Any advice for him? Have fun. I mean, you know, it's you're in the NHL now. It's just take it in and, you know, enjoy the moment. And, you know, I don't know if he's playing tonight or the next game, but, you know, just try and soak as much up from, uh, you know, some of the older guys, the guys that have been around a long time. And, you know, this is this is where he wants to be. So I, I know when I was first coming into the league that, you know, you just try to be a sponge off guys and, you know, learn their habits so that you can kind of use it for yourself. Usually in the playoffs, there's always uh, maybe a couple of guys that are considered X factors in the playoff run. When you look at your, your line with you, Cody, and Alex, do you guys feel like, you know, a couple goals here and there, you might be a couple of difference makers in the playoffs, or do you not see it that way? Um, you know, you, you always see those guys that, you know, aren't necessarily the primary scorers in the playoffs. It's, it's about secondary scoring. It's There's no 7-1 games really in the playoffs. It's all tight scoring, and, you know, we're fortunate to have four lines, and now we have three.